It's time for a Q and A. Hey, hey. Oh, look at that! Um. <laughs> a couple of days ago, I was looking like a body. Yeah, so good. But then. I tried to recreate this look the other day and it didn't work out. We have dinner today, after dinner, I'm gonna go out clubbing. Question number one. Are you still based in London? I can't keep up with your travels. Yes, I am still based in London. I live in London full time. Full time? Do I really live in London full time? I kind of sort of live in London full time. Um, I do dilly dally around a lot, but for the next, I think four months, I'm gonna be stable, stationary, in the United Kingdom. Mm. Do you currently do YouTube full time? I do currently do YouTube full time ish. Um, this summer, I did a summer camp job because I am actually going to acting school starting in two weeks and I needed more money. So I went to go do a summer camp job where I was a summer camp counselor for this for the summer. I worked with this company before. I worked with them when I was in uni and so I just went to go work with them again and it was just a very nice and easy transition. So I still kind of sort of do YouTube full time, but then if I need any extra money, I'll pick up the odd job here and there to be able to make more money. What do you dislike about yourself? I think that <laughs> I dislike that I think that I am current. So hear me out. I think that I'm right most of the time. Unless I actively think that I'm wrong, I genuinely think and believe with all my heart that I am right. I like, I believe things with my chest. So sometimes it makes it really hard when I am in conversation with people who have different like opinions to me to like even like just listen to the opinions because I'm just like you're actually just chatting. This summer I spent a lot of time with somebody who I now like admire a lot. And this person I noticed would sit in conversation with people that they had like different opinions with and they'd be able to sit down, ask them questions, all of these things and I'm just sitting there like I actually do not know how to have a conversation with this person that you're talking to like I genuinely and I think it, it, it grinds my it grinds my gears especially when it comes to like issues like you know gender issues or like race issues or like cultural issues sometimes I cannot I can't breathe. Some of the conversations I can't breathe. I'm just like, this is the problem. This is wrong with the world. And so, if you're asking me what do I currently dislike about myself, I'll say it's the fact that like I actually cannot breathe around conversations that I feel like are like stemmed in ignorance. Why I put the comb in the book? <sighs> LOL, LOL. So my boyfriend said I can relate to your videos only because I am DB like you and I should ask you if you've ever picked a troll troll before. That is really funny. So um, if in case you're watching this and you're like, what is DB? Basically in Ghana, there are phrases for different types of people and DB is supposed to be, I don't know what like the full, but, like I don't know what this word means. But this word is essentially supposed to be that you are yeah, I mean, like you're acting too bougie, you're acting like too, too, I feel like this is the simple, you're acting too... So basically, she's saying that her boyfriend said that she's too, and so she can relate to me. Now, trotros are buses in Ghana. Um, it's like one of the most used bus systems in Ghana, essentially. And it's usually cheaper than like the average taxi. And so the assumption is if you are very much like this, you're not taking draw draws on a regular basis. So to answer your question, yes, I've taken a draw draw before. I love this question. I love this question. <laughs> I love this question currently because this summer, obviously it was hot in England and really rainy. And one of the compliments I was getting a lot is that I have nice legs. And so my new favorite part of my body are my legs. I didn't think it would be my legs, but now it's my legs. Hey, 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 hey. Are you still there? Hello? All done. Very messy, but we we keep it pushing, we keep it moving. An apologetic note of the night. And if any of you are wig girlies in the comments, please let me know. Please let me know with girlies. <laughs> but the other time, I like already scrubbed the lace, so it's already like kind of sort of see-through. I think I just need to add water and then we can call it a day in the process.
So this is how that looks. I think I'm supposed to put the foundation on first, but it. Oh, you're filming. Sorry. And this actually ties into one of the next questions that I was asked, and it is, what are some of the goals you have? So <laughs> one of the goals that I have for the rest of the year is I really want to become. And this is my TikTok. My TikTok is pushing this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, but I also really want this to be my portion, and I want to be a self-sufficient. Babe. Like, I want to be a babe that knows how to do like her own things, her own hair, just because adulting and outside is becoming a little bit more expensive. And so I want to be able to do most of the things that I can by myself and then, you know, pay for the things that I have to pay for that are like outside. So for example, being able to do my hair is literally a, such an important skill. Once you learn how to do your hair, you are actually, it's over. Um, another goal that I have is actually to have like finances because I feel like how I've been operating my life <laughs> for the past couple of years, this is not a good hack guys, this is not a good hack, but is that when I get money, I spend it. I just be spending it on doing the most and the reality is now I need to be a financially responsible way, but not just like financially responsible in terms of like how you're saving your money, but also like how you're investing your money. And so I'm still working out some apps and some little shindigs before I come and share with the world, you know, how I'm doing my money management tips. Hashtag not a, not a financial advisor. And so apparently there's rice at home needs to actually, like you actually have to register that there's rice at home in your head. Like, okay, I don't like how this place is sitting. I don't know if this is where you're supposed to trust the process. Um, another one of my goals as well is also to not take life too seriously. I feel like, yeah, I just feel like I take life a little too serious for my liking. And I would like to be a babe that doesn't take life too seriously because really, I'm not going to cry if something doesn't work out when we know that life doesn't work out in a linear manner. That being said, I'm also trying to craft my life so um, around things that don't stress me. So, I mean, I'm learning from old lessons, learning from people that like mistakes, like people that stress me out. I'm just like very much learning. If I don't want to be in the space, I'm not going to be in the space. It's not my fault. So I'd say those are my two goals right now. Being financially savvy and not taking life too seriously and also being a self-sufficient babe. But even this note of like whole self-sufficient business, like so many things go into it. So for example, learning how to do my own lashes is a big thing for me. So I just picked up those magnetic lashes. Like I keep trying to do the regular shaped lashes with like glue and stuff like that. It's okay. I'm mint. Like, I feel like just like with the hair business, it's a hit or a miss. Some days are good. Like, I could be doing all this work and the hair actually turns out disgusting, which I'm so scared that it's gonna do it. But you know what? Trust the process. Trust that I've done something that's good. Or, and please don't fight me in the comment section, skincare people, because I am coming to do the abominable. I did a little bit of makeup this morning and I'm just gonna retouch instead of washing my face. So. <laughs> what type of season are you in, especially in your 20s? Is it self-discovery, finding stability, exploration, learning, and learning things? Can it be all of them? Can it be all of them? Can that be the season of life that I'm in? That I am doing all of those things at once. But I think that this season, at least for the rest of the year, it's not that deep as the season I'm trying to be in. It's not that deep. It's really not that deep. Like, life ebbs and flows so much that if you fix it on the bad things okay then you're just gonna be stressing yourself out for nothing because literally it's gonna get better it's gonna get better i say this and then on my bad day i better be referring to this video and also the season of okay so if this doesn't happen how are you still moving forward so let's say that hey as i'm talking this i hope i'm taking my advice so let's say that you really wanted to buy this house and i don't know the house came on the market you thought this was your dream house you really wanted to buy this house and then all of a sudden somebody buys a house like somebody puts in an offer that's bigger than you and so you can't buy the house is the conclusion that you're just not gonna you're just not gonna buy a house no the conclusion has to be that you move on. You have to move on in spite of things. You have to move on in spite of the fact that this person is in your life anymore. You have to move on in, 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 in spite of the fact that this opportunity isn't like in your life anymore. And I just feel like it is a very interesting dynamic because as silly as it sounds, I 
23. Oh my god, am I so young? I'm gonna be 24 in a month, guys. But 23 looked very different in my head than where it is now. And I have to come to terms with so many things that I thought were gonna happen, but haven't happened. And I need to be able to move on in spite of them. So, to answer your question of what season I'm in in my life, it is a mixture of it's not that deep and what does that look like to move forward? Okay. Listen, I just better look like a babe tonight. That's my only request in this life, bro. Like, basically, that was just a really nice life change that has happened recently and somebody was asking me why did i go through you know this life process that i went through and i was just like because i'm a body in my head if i'm a body in my head i need to match that energy because in my head the person i think i am is not where i'm at right now and i don't understand that for me i just need to catch up and so that's what I'm trying to embody today. Same energy with my hair when I'm not wearing wigs because I currently have, and I made it public just in case anybody's a little black girly like me and wants to learn how to do their hair. But I made a, a playlist on my TikTok about 4C hair. So like if you want to learn how to do your 4C hair, every single time I see a hairstyle, I'm putting it up on my TikTok just because I just be thinking that like, I don't know how to do diddly squat. Like, I just, I don't know how to do these things. Like, I have to learn from scratch. I can't draw, so I can't even blame it on drawing. Like, I just feel like, and there's so many different areas of my life. And this is why I'm even going to school from September to December, because I just feel like I don't know anything. Like, I, I, like oh my God, this even ties into the season question. Like, I just feel like I don't know anything. I feel like I don't know anything. I feel like I haven't done it. Look, I don't, this is not like, this, this is my little diary so this is not so that you can be put in the comment section oh yeah you've done da, 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 da. like maybe this is what dr nina and i were talking about <laughs> anyway i just feel like yeah like i just feel like i'm i'm a beginner i'm still a baby i like i feel it i don't know why i didn't feel this when i was 22 <laughs> walking around thinking i knew everything but i definitely feel that 21 23 that i'm a beginner and i don't know what the heck i'm doing and that is what 20s feels like. It feels like I still have training wheels on. And so I'm just trying to like figure out what that looks like. That's what that's my season. Embracing the training wheels. Woo! Imagine this works. I will be an eyelash babe. It's not like it. <laughs> coats of light. Apply three coats. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I was actually watching something and they said that this is why they don't like baking and I'm like this is such a good idea like this is this is such a good point I completely relate and the person said that they don't like baking because with baking ah it was Tolly T from the Receipts podcast she doesn't like baking because with baking you're dealing with exact and it's like why can't I just chuck everything in and it's gonna work you know what I mean? It's like you almost need to be patient with the time. And I'm just thinking in my head, why the heck would I want to be patient? I just don't know what this wants from me. <sighs> Welcome to the realities of like, if you're a beginner. Welcome to the realities. Like I'm gonna post this because by the end of the year, when I figure this out, I'm gonna be really proud of myself. But like, for now, I'm, I'm not feeling very proud. And if I remove this <laughs> hair butt, <laughs> and it's not thingy, like I'll just cry. <laughs> okay. Time to check. This works. Oh. Hi. It's okay. Everything's kind of looking mid, guys. Everything's kind of looking mid. When I come closer, you see it's not sticking. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! And I'm gonna go to a place tonight where people are gonna be up close to me, so I don't want them to see this mess when it's up close. You feel me, bro? Like, bro, at least let me lie that I'm a buddy. Are you going to do vlogs about Ghana anymore? As I so enjoyed when you were there with your friends, Anna, Vanessa, ETC. Oh my god, absolutely. I'm a freaking Ghanaian. So basically, I do vlogs, well, I like to do vlogs based on the countries that I'm in at the moment. It's rather unfortunate, I don't live in Ghana, so when I'm in Ghana, I'll do like a little vlog. So like for example, last December, I was in Ghana, so I did, you know, a nice vlog. If you guys haven't watched it, you should check it out. 
but I'm not in Ghana right now and so I haven't done like a vlog about Ghana in like a hot minute. There are bigger projects that I have for Ghana that are just gonna take time to do honestly um, and so I'm navigating through that. That being said, um, of course, um, when me and my friends are in the same country, absolutely. Um, so it's just a time thing. It's not um, a preference thing. It's just a time thing. Cool. And then the second one is, has Anna stopped making vlogs for good? That is an Anna question. That is an Anna question. And I'm going to leave her Instagram and all her details in the bio. That is an Anna question. Go and flood her Instagram and flood her YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to my friend Anna um, and ask her that question. That is an Anna question. <laughs> Not an okay question. Also, a song I'm listening to that I think every black girl needs to listen to. If you're not black, you can listen to it as well. Stream it. But... This is for black girls and it's called Angel by Hallie. It's such a good song and I want to sing a little bit of an except for you too, okay. Black guy, black guy, black guy. Took a little time, time. Took a little sun kiss just to look like this guy. Say you're an angel. Uh, Jack. It's okay, I'm gonna be back, I'll be back. Boom. Period. Um, how are we feeling? Lace, still not blended to perfection, but you know what? Training wheels, training wheels. You keep it pushing, keep it pushing, but I think like I look like a babe. So, enjoy the rest of... <laughs> so, I'm so awkward when there's people around. But I think I look like a babe. Honestly, I think that with the way the makeup is looking, oh my god, these lashes don't want me to thrive. I swear to god. Bro. I'll figure it out. <laughs> have a have a rest, lovely day. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I will be answering all of them. Pray for me that I get this right. The lace, the lashes, everything. But um, for those of you who are on your training wheel journey, big hugs, big kisses, and I wish you all the best. Bye. I just might be a black Bill Gates in the making. So watch this space, watch this space.